Let's go. So right here on this side of Chappie, we have a 15 amp service, which is what we're currently running on right now. But I want to put a shore power connection right here. I already kind of stenciled out this like a year ago and that Sharpie has held up flawlessly. But this is where I'm gonna put my 30 amp. The original service was up here, but the hole was so large, roughly like a five inch hole for a two inch socket. So I don't know why they did that, but it was really large. So I had to get a bigger plate to cover that up. So here's the 30 amp service plug right here for shore power. I'm going to get that installed and hardwire in. I am going to reuse this plug right here. That was the original plug to Chappie. It came with roughly like 30 feet worth of cable. Um, and it is 10-2 wiring. And it's stranded, so it's exactly what I need for the job. So, money saved. Got my bit set up. Cutting a 2.5 inch hole in Chappie. I used to be kind of scared drilling holes into the rig and then I realized if I mess up I can always just fix it later so let's get out there and cut a hole and not fix it later I can fix it when I mess up um so like I said right here is the original shore power connection it was cut to this size hole which is roughly five inches I put a 15 amp connection right here just to kind of power any like you know odds and ends and I figured I might as well just get the shore power done while I got some time. So here's the hole, and we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna send it. Yeah! Pro tip. If you are planning on drilling a hole into your rig, make sure your battery's charged. <laughs> so here's my connection right here. Oh, it fits so nice. So yeah, it's not color matched or anything like that. That's something I'm gonna worry about at a later date, but right now, I'm liking the way it looks. 15 amp, 30 amp. So a potential of 45 amps that can get plugged into the coach. I'm gonna have plenty of solar power. So I'm not really worried about it, but you know, just in case. Whoa! That cut that off way too easy. That's crazy. Got a little ahead of myself. You gotta clean the stuff before you install it. Simple mix of TSP multi cleaner and water. Look at that. Look at that difference. It's crazy. Stuff works so good. So, after messing with this for a while, I ended up taking the butyl tape off. This does come with a foam core sealer. The butyl tape was getting stuck in between this lock ring right here and also getting pretty close to the connections. So, I just wasn't having it, wasn't a fan of it. So, I ended up taking it off. Now we're just gonna get this guy and put it in. Lines up like so. And we'll just throw some screws in. All right, so I have my 30 amp, my 15 amp. The 15 amp is plugged into the surge protector, which is running this air conditioner right here. So I have two sources of power. Here's my 30 amp wired in right here. Got it snugged up. It's going through my little loom enters through here and up into the box and here's uh, the pigtail or here's where I'm gonna make a pigtail to plug into this 30 amp so right now all this is dead I was running it off just our regular extension cord and I hardwired it into the back so I won't need this anymore because now I'll have that 30 amp connection
All right, moment of truth. So now we have our 30 amp connection plugged in, but again, this is a 15 amp plug into a 30 amp shore power connection. No lights in the rig. That's because the main breaker is off. Actually, the main breaker is off. Click it on. And we still should have no power right now because the converter is actually off. And the converter is the circuit right here. So now, we have power. So uh, yeah, that was a quick one. My buzz kind of wore off, which sucks. So I'm gonna go grab another drink. It feels good. Get a Max Air fan. Works so well. I'm actually scooping up another one so I can put in that area right there. So thanks for watching. Keep doing that YouTube thing. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.